Hello everybody. Um, it's that time again where I get to show you what I've been working on for the past few days. Uh, if you saw my earlier video, you may have noticed um, this figure that I was working on at the end. Um, it's another one of the Victrix Normans that are due for release officially tomorrow. So they're definitely worth a check. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd do this one up as a, uh, a bit of a crusader. So I got myself a Crusader flag, uh, made a little cross piece for the spear there that he was holding, well, the banner piece that he was holding there. And uh, yeah, played about a bit, slapped it on there, and uh, yeah, just went for it. Um, this is one of the Knights Hospitaller um, that I've painted this Norman up as. Uh, yeah, overall, quite pleased with it. Come out okay in the end. You know, like I say, can't knock the quality of these Victrix figures. They are lovely. The Normans are really, really good. And, uh, yeah, the amount of variation that you get with them is, is just unbelievable. Um, I mean, yeah, they've got sort of uh, Knights Templar, Knights Hospitaller. They've got um, the El Cid type Spanish. All of these shield transfers are available. And uh, yeah, there is just an absolute stack of variation that you can do with it. And uh, yeah, this time like, I thought, you know, I haven't done a Crusader in ages. Absolutely ages. So I thought, yeah, have a go. Slap some paint on there, see how he turns out. Uh, first time doing a sort of deserty base there, guys. So yeah, reasonably pleased with that. Yeah, it's nothing spectacular, but it looks okay. It looks, it looks effective enough. Yeah, the face came out okay on this one. Uh, you may have seen it in the earlier video that I did. Uh, not 100% happy with that eyeball on that side. I mean, that one, that one came out okay. But sometimes it's awkward to line them up and, and get them to look exactly, you know, right. And both face in the same sort of direction. Um, yeah, what else can I say about it? I'm um, overall reasonably pleased with it. Did my usual sort of uh, chain mail thing, uh, my usual sort of leather thing, my usual sort of wood thing for the um, for the shield and, and the staff. Um, yeah, like I say, quite pleased indeed with it. So yeah, next up, um, I've got a couple sort of lined up on the, on the table that I'm gonna be working on. Um, I thought, like I say, Gonna have a go at sort of lots of different ones. I'm not gonna do sort of a, a unit of uh, uh, say just Normans or just Crusaders and that. There's there's loads of shield shield decorations, shield transfers. So I thought I'd do a bit of everything. To be honest, sort of mix and match it up a bit, play about a bit. But yeah, overall quite pleased. Played about with the flag a bit. Put some highlights here and there on it. Won't be able to see it really. Yeah, you can probably see me brush strokes on there. I was highlighting it up. Um, Matt varnished it up. Nice shield transfers. But yeah, quite happy with that. Quite happy indeed. Let me show you what's next. So uh, I thought I'd have to go with one of the guys with the um, scale mail. So yeah, I've just I've just put the scale mail, scale mail in. Um, that's my usual sort of. Um, base coat with the sort of silver give it a wash that's only had one wash on that what I'll do is I usually give it one wash as a, a first go uh, then I'll put the leather in uh, line the leather put the scabbard on um, paint all the pouches and stuff like that do the face uh, yeah line it all up probably do some of the padded armor but maybe just base coat that and then I'll hit the scale mail again with my second wash of uh, of my chain mail wash. And that just sort of like all sinks it in properly. You know, if there's any bits that I've gone over before then um, with the leather and, 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 you know, areas that I shouldn't have hit with, say, the, uh, the base coats and, and the actual leather highlights and the washes, then I'll usually go over it again with silver. And then cut it in and line it and then hit it again with the, the scale mail wash or the, or the normal wash 
still got to do the base. Decided not to do the base actually. Don't know whether to go for um, a sort of maybe a slightly deserty base. So I quite enjoyed doing that last one. Or to just go back to the old style and uh, make it a sort of uh, uh, a sort of earthy base instead. Don't know. Haven't decided yet. Gonna play about with the face. Let's get it in there. Yeah, I should really do a, a face tutorial soon. Been meaning to. Maybe I could do one soon. I keep getting asked to do them, but to be honest, it's it's I play about with faces quite a bit. They they're not necessarily long. It wouldn't be a long tutorial because it's basically the same highlights that I use over and over again, and it's always in the same sort of places that I put the highlights. But it's just get the eyes in. Then do the first type. Then sort of well, base coat it. Get the eyes in. Do the first highlight. Do the second highlight. Start hitting it with a wash around the edges uh, and then some of the cracks and crevices. Play about. Put things like nostrils in. Always paint the nostrils in dark. Paint eyebrows in. Things like that. Um, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. If enough people keep asking and pestering me, I'll probably do a face tutorial. And uh, yep, yeah, uh, that was another one that I was going to do. Just stuck that together and probably start work on that as well soon. I've got to clean it all up, do the base on it. Yeah, no, but there are lots and lots of these these figures that you can play about with. Yeah, no, loads and loads of variation on them. Awesome figures, absolutely awesome. But yeah, going back to this one, quite pleased with him. Quite pleased indeed. As usual, please leave me comments. You know, say hello. It's always nice to hear from you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a shout when I've done the guy with the, with the scale mail. Anyway, take care. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.